Welcome to Words of Life. Enthusiasm is the word for our reflection and meditation today. There are three stories in the Bible that I want to emphasize that speaks of courage and confidence. The story of David slaying Goliath, Daniel in the lion's den, and the three Hebrew young men who were thrown into the fire. When you examine these stories carefully, one thing stands out. In each story, none of them backed down and neither were they afraid. In fact, the exact opposite is true. They were courageous and daring. The Hebrew boys exclaimed that even if God does not save them from the fire, they will still worship God. Daniel was not thrown into the lion's den as if to resist arrest and was protesting. No, Daniel willingly allowed himself to be thrown into the lion's den. There was a confident calm about them. Daniel faced the lions and the three Hebrew boys faced the fire and David, he faced Goliath. Let us join the narrative in 1 Samuel chapter 17. Let us skip the part about his father talking to him, telling him to take provisions to his brothers or the conversation with his brothers. And let us not even focus on the conversation between Saul and David. Now, all those scenes are important in themselves. But for now, let us listen to the conversation between David and Goliath. Let us go to the battlefield as recorded in 1 Samuel chapter 17. In verses 43 and 44, Goliath is insulted and screams, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Come here, he said, and I will give your flesh to the birds and to the wild animals. The Bible does not tell us more because this was not a debate or a discussion. It was not a dialogue or a deliberation. This was war and David and Goliath confronted each other for war to fight. That day, David brought Goliath down with a stone and a sling. Why did David have such courage, faith and boldness? The answer is in David's response. Notice what David said. You come to me with a sword, spear and javelin. I come to you in the name of the Lord Almighty. It is difficult to say whether David was in God that day or God was in David. When you consider that the Bible refers to David as a man after God's own heart, I think the best word to describe David on the battlefield would be enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is made up of two Greek words, en and theos which translate in God. When the Greek in is used in an enthusiasm, it describes a merging as a river would merge into an ocean. When you are in God, nothing is impossible. You can face the giants like David. When you are in Theos, in God, filled with an overwhelming genuine enthusiasm, you will be able to confidently go through the fire with your faith like the three Hebrew boys and willingly allow yourself to be thrown into the lion's den like Daniel. If you want to slay the giants challenging your life, you need to get it right like David. In Theos, we too can overcome every giant in our life with enthusiasm and victoriously like David. David's God is our God too. Let us pray. Almighty God, help us to live with enthusiasm in you, Lord. You know the giants we are facing in our lives. And as you were with David, 
be with us. Help us to live in God and move forward in your strength. For I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. I hope you were blessed. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your family and friends. Until next time, God bless.